I'm Ali from the Sacramento History Museum, and if you've been following along with our Head West activities, you know that the average covered wagon was four feet by eight feet, just like this box I'm standing in right now. If you take a look, it's not very big. In fact, it's just slightly larger than a twin size bed. And compared to my modern car, it's a lot smaller. Now this covered wagon was what you and your entire family had to move west. Most families could only afford one wagon for all of them. And this is where they not only brought all their things, but where they tried to sleep every night. If you take a look, there's not too much space. Most people had to sleep outside under the stars, or if the weather was bad, they might sleep underneath the wagon. And then in addition to the space for the people, you had to keep all your things inside. So here we have some different containers that we use nowadays when we travel. Let's take a look and see how they fit. Keep in mind that most families traveling west, it was a permanent move. They were taking everything they had, just like everything you'd put in a moving truck today, to California. There weren't any stores or markets along the way to stop for things. And once they got there, they were there. They weren't going back. If you take a look with these one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, we've already filled up almost half of our covered wagon. So I encourage you all to try this at home with your families. Make a grid, four feet by eight feet, and see what you can fit inside. Then you'll have to make the hard decisions. What do you take with you? What will you need out west? And what will you leave behind?